Hi everyone, this is Arfin and hope you are doing great. So today we are going to calculate correlation and we are going to plot it by using heat map. So let's do it. First, we are going to import libraries. Download the data. Web dot. There's two for Apple. Tesla. Ford. IBM. You can enter the other stocks. So I'm just doing, uh, doing it for these five stocks. My data source will be Yahoo. Our date, let's say, I'm going to do it for from 2019. I'm just picking it randomly. And then I'm going to finish it. And then you will have adjusted price. Let's run this. Perfect. So we got these stock prices. Now we are going to calculate return. So here we are going to calculate NP dot log so we are going to calculate log return one plus data underscore percentage change the head perfect all right so correlation is equal to data return dot correlation All right, so it's look like this. So now we are going to plot correlation in a beautiful heat map. So let's do it. SNN, which is C1 dot heat map. And we are going to create a heat map for correlation. So I'm going to put correlation. Run this. All right. Now we need to increase the size. For increasing the chart size, we need to write one line of code, which is going to be SNS dot set RC is equal to figure dot fix size. I'm pretty sure there must be some other way as well, but uh, this is something I found easy. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. And let's say 10, comma, 10. So I'm just putting a trend in you, you can try. All right, so we have set the chart size, which is C1. Now I'm going to pass the correlation data, or you can say exact this chart. So in this case, what I will do, I will just write SNS heat map correlation. So I'm going to increase size and I'm going to decrease this a little bit. So x and y axis and then all right, now we need to change the color as well. So it's gonna be C map, and I'm going to say C 
So I'm taking this code from some other place. What I will do, I will share the codes with you in the description below. So in this way, you can basically change the color of the, of the chart. So I'm just trying different colors here. All right. Now what we need to do, we need to check the correlation between each stock. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to say anode is equal to true. Like this. Perfect. So we got the correlation figure as well. We can try our different colors. And then there is also a lot of things you can do in this charting. So what I will do, I will share the link of uh, C1 chart as well, which is going to be really, really helpful, I'm pretty sure. So that's perfect. And I'm also going to plot a histogram chart of this data. So let's say SNS dot No, it's gonna be data return dot apple. So it's histogram, not right. Now what we are going to do is copy this and then instead of histogram, I'm going to say dist plot. All right, so this is the disk plot we have. You can also change the color. So let's say R red. Perfect. And we can also set the bins. So we gonna be, let's say 50. Perfect. You can also change color to green. And again, if you want to change the size of the chart, so let's do one thing, we can copy it and paste it here. So let's say, I gotta say 10 by 15 by 10. So it's also good. Perfect, so that's it for today. Hope you like this video and hope it's gonna be helpful for you. So if you want to ask something, just feel free to put your comments in the comment section below. And I really do appreciate your feedback. It will motivate me to make some videos, although I'm making this up for a long time because of my some busy schedule. So, but I'll try my best to uh, come up with new video ASAP. Thank you so much.